Today's Food for Thought comes from the fourth chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verses 10 and 11, which reads, Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. As we all know, we live in a world that is surrounded by wickedness. It's so hard to find what is hopeful, what is positive, because we are so inundated today with so much negativity. When I was growing up, my dad, he would always say to both me and my brother to never let someone tell us what we could or what we could not do as far as our dreams go. But sadly, rather than uplift, we are seemingly surrounded by so many people in our world today that would much rather tear others down so that they can go out and gain more of what the world has to offer. Yes, we can certainly be our biggest enemy, but at the same time, you better believe that you have an enemy that does not want to see you prosper. Now, we often call those that don't want to see us prosper, we often call them our haters. Now, throughout scripture, the Lord, he has shared a word for us to always be hopeful, to always focus on the positive. You see, the reason for this is because our hope should be planted in the Lord. And as Paul said, all things are possible with God. You see, Paul was one that said that we should always focus our mind on whatever things are noble, whatever things are just and pure, lovely and of a good report. You see, whenever Satan is trying to put negativity into your mind, we should do just as Jesus did when the devil tried to tempt him. We should tell Satan to get behind us. I want you to know today that you have the same power as Jesus to put the devil behind you. God's thoughts towards you, they are of peace, not evil. They are to give you a future and a hope. So I encourage you today to not let Satan keep yapping in your ear. Put the devil behind you, and when you do this, God's angels, they will minister to you and you will prosper.